However much time you spend on intricate lighting setups, there may always be a time when something is just a fraction out and you may not get the results you desire. When shooting portraits, there are a number of ways to retouch skin, but one element that's often neglected is the subject's eyes, which is a mistake because the eyes are the window to the soul. All is not lost though, as Affinity Photo boasts a number of features that can be combined and exploited to fix this issue, and quite literally shed some light on your portrait subject. The features in question are the easy to use selection tools, which will allow you to localize your adjustments for greater effect. The technique is better suited to higher end portraiture work. When you shoot tight head shots, every element of the subject has to be spot on, so it really is worth spending this extra time to make the eyes pop. With your image open in Affinity Photo, check your in the photo persona. If not, it's just the icon in the top left hand corner of the interface. Click Command and Plus to zoom in and get a good look at the subject's eyes. This is a great shot, but the eyes are a little bit dark and I think we can pep those up somewhat. Next, select the Selection Brush tool. And the keyboard shortcut for this is W. You can use the square bracket keys to change the size of the selection brush and all you need to do is click over the subject's eyes. Don't worry if you get some of the eyelash and some of the eyelid selected as well because we can sort this out later in the tutorial. Go to the next eye and do the same selecting it and the area we really need to make sure that it's selected is of course the white of the eyes and the irises. With these pixels selected, we're going to copy and paste them. So it's Command and C, and then Command and V. And as you'll see in the Layers panel, a new layer has been created. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. And if you click the bottom layer off, you'll see there we go. We've got just the eyes on a new layer ready to work on. We're going to head back to the Layers panel and select the Adjustments icon, which is identified by a half black, half white icon. Scroll up and select Curves. When the Curves adjustment appears, we're going to drag it onto our layer with just the eye pixels, just to the right of the thumbnail. There we go. When the dialog box appears, we're going to drag the line towards the top left corner, and you'll see the brightness of the eyes start to change. That's looking better. Now you'll notice if I click the layer on and off, that there is some over matter and part of the eyelids and eyelashes are being affected by this curves adjustment too. Don't worry, we can fix this by heading back over to the toolbar and selecting the paintbrush tool. And the keyboard shortcut for this is of course B. With the brush selected to a black color and the hardness down to zero, you can actually paint out the pixels that have been adjusted by the curves icon, i.e. the brightness. So zoom in even closer, take your time, and just paint out these pixels and all that should be remaining is the brightness of the white and iris on the eye. So I'm going to do the same with the right eye and you'll see here all that weird over matter disappearing. If you make a mistake it's no problem just change the brush to white and you can paint the pixels back in but of course we want to hide these pixels I'm just going to go over this eyelash and make sure the eyelid is fine as well. And one last bit on here. Now it can help to zoom out and check how the image looks when it fits the screen. So let's just check again the difference that the curves adjustment has made. Dark eyes and now bright eyes that really, really pop. If you feel the effect is too strong, a quick solution is to head up to the opacity bar and drag it down slightly. But for my image, I think 100% works really well. All you need to do now is head up to File, scroll down to Export, and you can then save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF or PSD. There we go. Have fun brightening the eyes of your portrait subjects, and I'll see you next time.